beekeepers with bee colonies like they are constantly competing with native bee populations and native mm. pollinators to get the food mm. now if we've got a complete diet for these bee colonies then the native population that is like there in the ecosystem doesn't have to compete with the agricultural population that is there to pollinate all this stuff right that's interesting like there's nexus. an ecosystem balance, balance that is happening yes that yes. is like even better right because, because then yeah it's the, 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 there's a currently this this uh, resource scarcity issue. exactly and, and so the sort of farm raised versus uh you know wild have to compete in exactly but now they don't have to that's a big that's actually that's, that's a really big that's one a, that's a story coming out of the university of oxford is that scientists make superfood that could save honeybees uh, those bee populations are declining Okay, something like 40% per year. It, like rapidly. Rapidly, dude. It's it's the losses in 2025 are projected to be around 60 to 70%. Okay, and this comes from a variety of factors. It's environmental, climate change, like warmer temperatures are not good for the bees. Um, plants bloom at times the bees are not active. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. one of the other big ones is a core nutritional gap between when you have these like colonies that are, that are um, sort of reared by beekeepers. Um, there's a nutritional gap between what the beekeepers can give to the bees and what they actually require. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been really hard to actually bridge that gap because what, what they're really lacking is these things called essential sterols. It's like cholesterol and other types of like fatty acids that are really hard to synthesize in a industrial manner. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of times what the, what these beekeepers do is they, they're not relying on like the, the flowers mm -hmm to feed the bees they have like artificial yep. like you know feed yep but um you're, you're not able to fulfill the entire nu nutritional needs yep okay and that is what this paper is addressing what they did was they bioengineered yeast to make all of the essential oils that bees require this is okay fascinating right like this is this could be a game changer for bee populations worldwide and the other big um advantage is like you know when